Hello, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews. Right, I, along with the beer I done yesterday, um, I picked up a couple of beers up at Sainsbury's and um, I saw this and I thought, well, let's give it a try. Um, it's an AB InBev uh, takeover. Anyway, I've had it years ago, I've had it probably a, maybe a year or two ago, just before I was into reviewing. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try. See if it's anything changed or anything. Anyway, this is Goose Island's Goose IPA. It's coming in at, where is it, 5.9% ABV. It's 55 IBUs. Um, obviously, it's from America. It's from Chicago, Illinois. Um, it's got a best before date. Oh, this brewery was established in 1988. So it's been going quite a while. Um, it says here bottled on, which I did see it when I bought it. Well, sales curious. Even more amazingly, I'll tell you after. 18th of November 2015, it was bottled. So it's getting on for six months. Expires on the 18th of November 2016. They're giving this hoppy beer a year's shelf life. Wow. I'm, you know now I find that just amazing really but as I said it's uh, brewed and bottled in the USA Chicago Illinois as I said um, imported and sold for distribution in the UK and Ireland by InBev UK limited so meh, we'll, we'll see um, whether they've got anything to do with that massive shelf life who knows um, but it's got a 98 rating on uh, rate beer, so there's the bottle cap. Let's crack this open then. Decent hiss. Got a small setup in the bedroom, so it's kind of so much work going on outside next door, putting new fences up, and the kitchen's really noisy, and so I'm trying to find a bit of peace and quiet. Right, beer in a glass. Lots of smoke there. This is in a three hundred and fifty-five mil bottle, as opposed to our three hundred and twenty twelve fluid ounces. This is. I think I'll leave that a little bit just to see where we are with this. Very clear, very clear indeed small bubbles running through but not very much it's got just just a more than a one finger white head you can see through it completely it's like a golden color it's getting aroma then Ooh. it's like a bready biscuity malt Maybe some kind of citra hops, maybe. I don't know the hop varieties in this beer. There's a lot of IPAs now, breweries, that they don't tell you exactly what hops are in it. Don't get me wrong, a lot of them do. But a hell of a lot of them still don't. It's giving you everything else, but just not the hop varieties. Yeah, subdued. The malt, malt's coming through quite well. It's a nice malt. It's not one of them. Ugh. Yeah, this, this, I say there's hints of um, some lighter fruits. It's nothing bold or anything. Nothing like West Coast style or nothing like that. Yeah, citriness. Maybe a bit of apple and pear, that sort of thing. Lighter fruits. Apricots. Slightly marmalade but not not actual marmalade itself, sort of a hint of that kind of aroma. Eh, smells decent. Let's give it a try. Cheers. It's actually not too bad. It's got more flavour. 
in the taste. Obviously, the, the, the taste is better than the aroma for me. Yeah, there's sort of... What is it? I'm trying to think of that fruit. Mixed in with that malt build, it's kind of trying to work it out what it is. It's definitely a marmalade -y kind of thing. With the bread, bready, biscuity malt brown bread. Excuse me. Yeah. Not too bad. There's a little, there's a tiny bit of bitterness, but I'm not picking up the 55 IBUs, that's for sure. Um, is it drinking for a 5.9? Yeah, I'd say so. It's it's just you know, it's about where you'd pitch it. It's not overly boozy. It's quite low ABV really for a, for an IPA. Let's see if this changes. I don't know if it's bottle conditioned. I haven't looked. Doesn't look like it. So it's gone up to a two finger white head. Still very very clear. I prefer the. I mean, that looks like a filtered beer. I'll probably get someone jabber on about, oh yeah, it's this and that, and that, this is this, and this is that. It's like, yeah, well, I don't know. I've not gone onto their website. I've not done any research. I've just, what's on the bottle? I had a little look on Rate Beer just to find out what the IBUs are. I found out, and then I found them on the bottle. So got the list of information there and that left hand side of the of the eye so yeah let's go through now 12 fluid ounce 155 mil 5.9 percent that's an india pale ale 55 ibus pretty good got the date on the bowl when it was put in the bowl just the shelf life is a bit crap to be honest with you Just giving it a longer shelf life so it can sit there longer and make more money. Basically, that's what it is. Yeah, the citrus edge. As I said, the light fruits. I repeat myself again. So, I'll leave it at that. It's an okay. It's nothing... It's... If you've not had many IPAs before, you tried this for the first time, you're going to be like, wow. You know, once you've got used to IPAs and you, you have this, that is. Um, it's certainly not in the English style at all, obviously. Um, so this is a step up once you get used to the English IPAs. The lighter, sort of floral, herbal, more kind of hops. And then you go into, you up it a little bit. With the IBUs, I'm not tasting the 55 IBUs on this at all. Um, but someone who's getting into craft beer, stepping up the ladder, as it were. You probably notice the IBUs a bit more. Um, <coughs> excuse me, it's still a little bit carbonated. Um, so yeah, it's uh, not quite a transitional IPA, put it that way. It's the middle of the road. I mean, I'm used to double IPAs now, um, and, and some some imperial or, or tri triple IPAs. So I'm, I'm getting my tongue around the, the bigger ones now, so that's where I am with it. Not for the IBUs, the, you know, the bitter in units. It's more for flavour. The amount of malts they use in the bigger beers. The amount of hops they use in the bigger beers. Pri they're a bit more pricey. It does put a lot of people off paying, you know, anything from f £5 or maybe like, say, I don't know, seven dollars all the way up to a big bottle i mean if you get a bomber we don't have the bombers over here in the uk i mean that some of them could like 20 25 euros 20 25 dollars so yeah it's decent definitely a marmalade -y kind of taste coming through with the citriness and the bready biscuity malt um as for a rating then um it's okay 
I know it's AB InBev, but it's still reasonable. Um, they probably used not quite as many hops as what I can remember. They probably cut back a bit on that, but they've opened up the distribution more. Um, although we could still get them here before. Um, I'll give that an 8 out of 10. That's an 8 out of 10 from me. That's around about 90, 91, something like that. Um, it's okay. It's, 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 you know, it's an eight, just an A beer, so, you know, it's an okay beer, but there's a lot better out there, don't get me wrong. Cheers for watching then, if you've got anything to say about this beer, let me know if you like it, if you think it's a 10 or whatever. Um, also, if anyone knows the hop varieties they're using this, um, I'm sure there's a bit of citra in there. Anyway, cheers for watching, I'll see you next time. Cheers.